Welcome. Today we're going to talk about the Raspberry Pi Door Spy. And with the Raspberry Pi, this Door Spy is spelled with an I. Most of the electronics is on the Raspberry Pi, of course, and there's a script running. But we have a board on top of our Raspberry Pi with some additional electronics. The most important part is this module, GSM module. M95 from Quacktel. Uh, in fact, this board is a small cell phone. We have our GSM module, SIM card holder, and we have our microphone and speaker. There's no keyboard, this is a doorbell. Here's the doorbell button. When you press that, uh, there will be a signal to the Raspberry Pi. And the Raspberry Pi also has its Raspberry Pi cam, which will be mounted at your front door. As soon as someone pushes the bell button, a picture will be taken and it will be transmitted to your own cell phone. You can do two things at the moment that you see the picture. You can decide, I don't want to see that guy, and you do nothing. You can also initiate a phone call from your cell phone to your door spy, and you can speak with the visitor. That's the speaker and the microphone. So you can tell him, well, just wait uh, 10 more minutes, I'll be right home, or whatever. Uh, and there's another option. From your cell phone, you can send a text message, an SMS, uh, containing a password to activate another relay on the board that will activate a door opener. So you have a remote door opener for your front door in case you're not at home. Uh, you may have noticed that there's a second relay on the board. This one is connected to your normal doorbell system. So even if someone pushes this button, also the, your normal doorbell will ring. Well, let me demonstrate how this works. I will try to point the camera to the cameraman who's behind me, and he pushes the doorbell, this small button. Yep, and it's I hope I have his picture now. Uh, this will uh, take some time. Uh, there are parameters in the script running on the Raspberry Pi uh, to adjust the settings of the Raspberry Pi cam. And it also, also determines the number of uh, pixels of the picture you're sending. And the smaller the picture, the faster the transmission will be. And now I have a message on my cell phone. It's an MMS with a picture. Well, I can see him not really clearly, but yes, yes, he's also waving at me. Hi, Patrick. And now I can initiate, initiate the call to the board. You will uh, first hear the bell tone and then it will auto answer and at that stage, well, you can hear my voice with some delay over there. And yeah, that's hard to hear, but there's also sound coming back. And of course, this uh, cell phone is too close to the speaker and the microphone there, so I'll have some feedback that is really annoying. As I said, another option will be if you like the visitor you can also uh, send him send an SMS to your uh, door spy containing a password. This is a very secret password, one, two, three, four. And as soon as you send it, well, there's nothing connected, but maybe you will hear the relay click in just a few seconds. Not too clear, but there it was. 
it's not only a password that you're sending that determines if the door opener is activated. Uh, the Raspberry Pi will also check the phone number of uh, the text message that was sent. So only my cell phone will be able to open the door. Well, that's about it for today. Thank you for uh, watching. Bye-bye.